Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Scavenger. Welcome back to another episode of Summer's Gone. I hope you guys are ready because we're going to jump right into this. Let's go. All right, this is after the jacuzzi scene. Um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's because the last episode is only available on BitChute. Link is in the description. And there was some stuff I didn't uh, put in the video. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get into this. Like I said, we're here after the jacuzzi scene, back in the kitchen, it looks like, with the Zico and maybe the rest of the group. Let's find out. John. Ah, the jacuzzi made me tired. And that's what it's for. You have a nice workout, then you jump into the jacuzzi, and and then a quick shower, and right to bed. You will sleep like an angel. Knowing that I'll beat you in every discipline makes me sleep like an angel. Zara starts giggling a little. I will drink your tears to refill my electrolytes. That was amazing. But we should head to Victoria's now. Thanks a lot for the food, Nick. It was amazing. Yeah, it was very good. I'm glad you two liked it. Zara, are you driving them? No, it's okay. We'll take the bus. Are you sure? Yeah, you all drank a little. Please be careful. What is, hold on, what is... There's something going on there that I just noticed with uh, Nick and Zara. Hold on. I'm going to back it up a little. Oh, she's like picking something off of his shirt. Anyway. Alright, so she says be careful or uh, Najiko does. And he's like, yes, Naji. I'm still watching uh, John now. And he took the thing back from Zara. Where'd you get that fluff? Don't tell me it's from your belly button. <laughs> no, it's from your shirt. Even worse, you stole my property. Okay, all right, he's having a little fun. That's cool. That's cool. Zara looks completely different after the, uh, you know, when she's just kind of toned down and not being competitive. Like, she's, in, it looks like she's in, like, her casual, relaxed and closed right now. Bye, Zara. Thank you for the game and especially the jacuzzi. It was a pleasure. I'll see ya. See, so look, uh, Zara's giving John that look like, I'm kind of interested now. She's kind of interested. I think she. I think she is anyway. What do you guys think? I think she's interested. I think. I think everybody's interested. I mean, John. I mean, he looks like a stud already, but now he's starting to be more social and everything. He's gonna be irresistible to to all the ladies. All right, here we are at the bus stop, which is one of the nicest bus stops I've seen in my life. And uh, a scene that I couldn't show you guys, it was just way too spicy, um, is after after Zara and Vanessa had left the, the hot tub or the jacuzzi, that is, um, John and Nami had, they had a moment of like, just kind of like, just a bonding moment, really, in the hot tub. Threw some screenshots of that moment on my discord so you guys could check it out with a little explanation of what's going on um so feel free if you want to check it out you can do that just to kind of get an idea of what happened between the two of them nothing crazy but it was definitely a, a bonding moment and maybe more of a, an opening up for john you know he's very uncomfortable in certain situations so like i said discord if you guys want to check that out um anyway again let's get back to it Oh, she's singing. I'm not going to sing. I'm not going to do it. Phoenix Nami at it again, flying through the world. Nah. But she's trying to make a song about Phoenix Nami. Okay. Well, yeah, not singing it. Are you creating a song about yourself? Yes. Nice. <laughs> Wormy, Worm, Wormy John and Phoenix Nami fighting crime or doing crimes? What are we? The good or the bad? I thought I was Raven John. All oh, right, Wormy John is uh the other John. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Raven John and Wormy Nami. No, what? What? I'm a phoenix. 
Nah, she's fucking her song. And I'm tired. Let's just cancel and go to bed. No, we promised. I didn't promise anything. We will go. Nice scene. Nice scene. That's one of the things I like about this game. Even though the story, I'm not sure if it's quite there yet. It'll take some time. Uh, probably when the story is complete. Uh, before I can really judge whether the story was overall good or not. The, the renders, the atmosphere, the music, everything feels really good in this game. Hopefully the story just uh, keeps a good level and stays, stays on par of where it's at right now. I really like it so far. All right, the bus is here. And uh, we're off. I would say the little leaf thing, that little transition could probably change. I'm not really digging it. What do you think of Vanessa? Let's see. I got a few. Tr uh, I got a few options here. Um, I find her quite impressive. I don't know yet. We would need to see her more often and under different circumstances. I th and then I don't like her as a third choice. I don't know yet. Uh, she she was testing John, but now she's kind of impressed by John and his willpower. At, at, you know, and overall, he's different than other guys she's come in contact with. Um. But not sure what her motives are, so we're going with this. Yeah, but man, she's something else. At some point in the jacuzzi, I thought you two were about to kiss. Me too, dude. Nobody has ever looked at me like that before. Like, holy shit. That's funny. That's funny. I bet, I bet Nami was kind of digging it too, because... Uh, Vanessa at one point did say that even girls can't resist her. It seems like she had quite the impact on you. Yeah, I still get shivers. <laughs> there was one weird moment, though. While you and Zara were gone, Vanessa asked me about my earring. So? Sasha did the same. She has the exact same one. Just on the other side. Hold on. I've never noticed this before. As if, as if they once were a pair. Interesting. Just tell them where you bought them. Don't you remember? No. I told you that I got this one from that woman many years ago. I'm certain that my past me didn't listen to you talk about earrings. Isn't it weird? Who was that woman? I don't know. She just appeared when you and Summer ditched me again, and I was crying on a bench. When was that? Easily eight years ago. Well, just ask Sasha where she got hers from. Vanessa said they somehow seemed familiar. I have never noticed that earring. So, Sasha, she's the one with the big scar, has an earring on the opposite ear. But it's a, like an exact likeness of the one that Nami has. Which looks like maybe a, a bird's wing or maybe an angel's wing or something. Okay, that brings a, a, a little bit of a new dynamic. A little bit of mystery to the story. Or maybe even something supernatural that's going on here. So, just, just raising my curiosity level is what this game is doing right now. I feel so comfortable around her. I never told her this before, but her presence is a blessing. I know that I'd miss her sometimes annoying type if she would be gone. Sometimes I wish that time stood still and we could hang around forever. Someday she'll find a guy and I, I might find a girl and then we're only going to see each other on holidays. You always come through for me. Oh, that's a nice scene. What if whatever thought just crossed my mind is simply crazy? And yet, it feels weirdly right. Alright, next stop is ours. I hope they've got some coffee. Fron. Okay, this is a much simpler looking house. A much more uh, humble abode. But we're going in. 
So I think the thought that crossed John's mind just then that he didn't, that he kind of tried to shove off or, sh or shrug off was the thought of maybe he and Nami being a pair. And that's what I'm thinking. Ooh, we've got a meanwhile. Oh, it's back here with um, with uh, Bella. Okay. We saw this scene uh, a while back and it was just really quick. What's going on, Bella? How you doing? How you doing? She seems upset. That's John's jacket. Hold on, what is going on here? Why is she so upset? She's just bawling her eyes out there. And I think that's John's jacket. Because I remember uh, one time he said something about it. And she said, no, it's mine now. Why? What is going on? We know Bella's got a lot of baggage. Alright, um, that's, uh, Ayu? I can't remember how you pronounce her name. I always pronounce it different every time, too, I think. But she sees Bella. What is going on here? Still got that jacket. Okay, that was interesting. I, I think we're at the party now. Maybe she's just missing John. I don't know. But I think we're at the party now. And holy shit, hold on. It says save here. This game could be over. <laughs> this game could be over for now. We could have made it to the update. We did. We did. Well, um, upsetting. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, again, great game. Great game. Like I said earlier, um, the, the renders, the... The whole atmosphere, the aesthetic of the game is amazing. It's probably one of the best I've played. Um, and I just hope the story stays really strong. But, uh, you know, now we have to wait for Chapter 5. So, thank you, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Go ahead and smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.